Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Back Roads with you. We're out and about again in the Ozarks. Today we're on the mighty KLX, our Kawasaki KLX 300 back here. We are over uh, just east of Eminence, Missouri at a little spot. Uh, it's a spring and a mill called Alley Spring, an Alley Spring Mill. Pretty cool spot. We'll take a look at this old spring and the mill that sits on it. Uh, it's a really big spring and a really cool old mill. It's full of uh, uh, original, the original milling equipment that was used in it back in the day. So we'll take a look at all of that. And then we're gonna jump on the Kawasaki and head down an old river road that follows the Jacks Fork River to the east. And eventually we should be able to get to Eminence, Missouri. Now I've tried this uh, particular route along the river probably four or five times in the last four years or so. I haven't been able to make it through yet. I've always gotten turned back for one reason or another. So today I think everything's going to work. I've learned a lot of lessons. We're going to make it to Eminence, Missouri on the, on the river road here from uh, Alley Springs Mill. So stick around. We're going to jump on the big uh, KLX back here and we're going to make this happen. Here we are at Alley Spring Mill. It's an old mill here. Had a big spring uh, just off of the Jacks Fork River. We are west of Eminence, Missouri, five or six miles, I believe. That is some clean water right there and cold. Look at all that watercress. Spring water here in the Ozarks, usually about 53 degrees to 55 degrees, something like that. They got a nice bridge they've built and a walking trail that goes around the backside of the spring. We'll take a walk around the spring, get some pictures of that. The bottom of this creek is totally, totally covered with watercress. So here's our walking trail that heads up around the backside of the spring. We'll take a walk up through here and see what it's like. Most of the water doesn't go to the mill. It just goes out the back side of the spring here and into the spring creek. Just a small portion of it actually is diverted over into the mill. Really sweet. Big spring pool here. That's where it's deep. It comes from deep underground there and there's a big deep hole in there underneath this mountain. Pretty good sized old mill that's here. This was a big mill. They've done a really good job uh, keeping the thing up, restoring it, and it's, it's, a neat, it's a neat mill. If you're in the area, check it out. Blue-green color in that water is from all the limestone that's dissolved into that water. And they've got some gates here. They can control how much water came into the wheel and then the output into the creek down here. Inside the mill here on the lower floor you can see some of the uh, grinding equipment. They've got it all cleaned up. It looks really nice. There's still a lot of equipment in here from back in the day. You can see all the chutes where the uh, grain would come down into the milling equipment from above. They used gravity. They didn't have to do a lot of work. They let gravity do all the work. Them old timers were pretty sharp about things. They knew how to get things done. All the equipment was driven with these big wide leather belts. Upstairs in the second floor story they've got an old sifter here that was used to uh, sift out and size the uh, the product. And they got the gate or the chutes coming down from above. They'd feed the, the grade in, grain in there and then sift it out, get all the debris out of it, get it nice and clean. Here we've got a couple of, of uh, bolters, which were another form of uh, probably an earlier style of a uh, sifter than, that we looked at a minute ago, an earlier machine, but uh, they did basically the same thing. Looks like the the spring and the mill here were made a state park in 1924. 
uh, one of the first Missouri State Parks to be designated at the time. Here's a picture of the the old mill back in the day. So apparently the mill wasn't operating in 1924. It was done by then. Here's a picture of it from 1904. Okay, we're gonna head up the river here. We had a look at the mill there at the Alley Spring Mill and the, and the spring itself is really sweet. We're gonna head up the river, up the Jacks Fork River and see if we can make it all the way to Eminence today without getting turned back. Here's the Spring Creek. We're just below the spring. Creek's coming around here. This is really pretty, full of watercress. Just beautiful. And then it's heading on over to the Jacks Fork River right over here. So this is the river road that runs along the Jacks Fork River and it eventually will take you all the way to Eminence. It's probably six or eight miles, seven or eight miles across here, I would say. I've been turned back on this trail so many times kind of getting gun shy. I've had trees over the road here a couple of times that we couldn't get through, couldn't get past. Of course the river, if you come at the wrong time of the year too early in the season, the river down here will get over the road. I've been turned back by that. There's also a creek that has to be crossed and if the water's too high you can't get across that. I've been turned back a few times there. And then one time, everything aligned and I would have made it except I missed my turn down here and I wound up going way out in the government woods up a little trail that just went up a creek, up a little small creek and it was horrible. I thought I was gonna die that day. I'll put a link to that video. I think it's called Shannon County Hell Road or something like that. It was really a, a grueling uh, experience. I was on the big tiger and it was just the wrong bike for that. So we got people here in the river canoeing. I'm gonna have to pay attention here. This is pretty stinking rough. The river's been in the road and washed it all out. Well, just all that is left is the rocks all of the gravel that used to be in it is gone. All right, well, the river's not in the road. That's something. Got more floaters on the river over here. Alley Spring is a, uh, one of the, one of the places, man, I need to get up here where there's a halfway a line. So Alley Springs is one of the places where the uh, the outfitters put people in the river. So that's why we're seeing all these floaters that, going down the river. They've been got somebody camped out right on the right on the shore of the river there. So the river's pretty low today. It's typical midsummer probably the lowest uh, water levels that we get is right now that's what it looks like to me we've got a little wet spot right here this is where i went astray one time i, I missed this turn right here and i went straight that way and that road runs for several miles, probably five or six miles. And it runs up this little creek right here. And it is snotty. I was on the big tiger. And uh, after I got three or four miles in, I was so exhausted that there was no way that I was going to turn around uh, after all I'd been through. So I just kept going. And... Uh, yeah, it was quite an adventure. Well, we made the right turn, so I think we're, we're in pretty good shape here now. You really gotta 
be trying to screw up to get lost because we're just following the river at this point. All right. More places here where the river's been on the road. It washes all the dirt out and just leaves those rocks. Hi. The only people I've ever seen on this road was every now and then I'll run into the uh, uh, forest ranger, a park ranger. Sometimes he'll come through this way going to Eminence. It's a whole lot shorter. His four-wheel drive truck, he can pretty much come through here whenever he wants. And then you'll see people on four-wheelers, uh, side-by-sides and stuff. I've already met one today. Yeah, this is a cool, cool road. Through here, Just don't hurt yourself, that's all I can say. Especially if you're by yourself. Got more river bluff here. Pretty sweet. A bit of a loose scrabble here. Oh yeah, this is a nice climb. A lot of rock loose stuff on it and just rocks hanging out of the road I don't think we're done we're not oh what have we got going on here signs of civilization looks like a proud American lives here Uh-oh, there's a possum that didn't make it. Somebody, that possum managed to get run over on this road with, there's probably like five vehicles a day that come down through here. And uh, the possum managed to get hit by one of them. I think that takes effort. Here's some water down here. What's this all about? <clears throat> all right, we've got a little artesian spring going on right here so there was a spring here it's running off a little spring creek full of watercress they've run a well casing down in it so they could get uh, the water would come up and not have sediment in it I guess the sediment will settle out in the bottom of that wherever however deep that casing goes that's pretty cool and I'm going to say that's some pretty cold. Yep, pretty cold. All right. Let's continue on. I'm kind of feeling like maybe some groceries might be in order. It's about dinner time. You can tell by looking at me, I don't miss a lot of... Uh, I don't skip too many meals. All right, we are in eminence. Little town like this has surely got a, a little cafe. They got a saloon. Is this a good place to eat? Yeah? All right, it smells good, I can smell it. Yeah. Ooh, that'll be good. Spaghetti. All right, lunch break. Well, we had lunch, we had the spaghetti and it was pretty good, it filled me up and a big salad. So we're gonna continue on. There's more of this river road that follows the uh, Jack's Fork River to the east. Hello, how are you? Little bitty kids, they're locals. Big horses, both of those were big tall horses. Little bitty kids. Thank you, mm -hmm. Easy, easy, it's okay, it's all right. Thank you. you bet, see you guys. Have you ever seen so many horses? 
wonder if they've got something that's something's going on down here they're having a a rally or something a horse rally howdy Thank you. you bet Hope you, have a day. you too yeah hi here's one of the places you can water your horse tie them up and water them there well I'm not gonna get stranded out here can't go more than a hundred feet without running into a pack of horses there's a possum that managed to get himself killed on this little dirt road trail now how is that possible so here we are right on the Jack's Fork River Got a really pretty bluff right here. And more horses. Beautiful bluff. Beautiful spot on the river too. Howdy! I need a little bit of speed here. This is kind of rough. This is very rough. <laughs> You got some good horses, they're not scared. Well, that's why we're facing you. Yeah, a lot of them aren't too sure about this motorcycle. Yeah. Howdy. Hi. <laughs> oh. Some big old rocks hanging out of the road right there. Yeah, we are right on the river. The river's been up on, on this road. Oh gosh. Gun it and try to <laughs> try to stay on top of it. Woo. Woo. We got a spring here coming down the road it's running running pretty good a pretty goodly amount yeah there's a big spring right back in here a good size spring it runs out it's not running a whole lot today but you can see it back in here some water a spring pool Got watercress here. Right here is another spring. You can see it bubbling up. Right here. You can see the, the gravel and stuff. It's barely flowing. A lot of, it's usually flowing pretty good. So all this spring water, it don't have far to go to dump into the, current, or the Jack's Fork River right here. So this spring water is going into the Jack's Fork and then it'll go down the Jack's Fork just a little ways and dump into the current river down here. Not the day to be out hiking, walking, even talking will break you into a sweat today. Alright, we're going to continue on. We'll make a circle and then head up into the woods gonna get off of the creek and head up into the woods here I think there is a, a herd of wild horses along this section of the Jack's Fork River and I've actually seen the herd and got video of them they're in one of my videos the wild horses and they were right along through here where I saw them all right we got four wheelers now as if uh, horses weren't bad enough. And this road here is extremely steep. <clears throat> Look at that. Whew. That goes down into the bowels of the mountains right there. I think we'll go this way. See if we can get up this hill. Big hill right here. 
she is steep, steep. Oh man. There we go. Get it in the right gear, it'll help. Whew. All right. Well, folks, I appreciate you all hanging out with me, taking a ride along the Jack's Fork River from Alley Springs Mill to Eminence, and then Eminence on east along the river. Beautiful ride, beautiful country. A little rough today. The roads of uh, the river's been up on the road in a lot of places, but um, still a spectacular day. Uh, Alley Spring and the and the old mill there at Alley Spring, really cool spot. I invite you all to come back and see me. We'll jump on something and go somewhere. Till I catch up with you again, you all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.